Hi, so uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a normal map to an object in your Unity scene. So just to give you an idea of where we're starting, I just play the game quickly here. You'll see I've got a brick wall, which has a brick texture on it, but you can see it's very flat, and there's no real depth on that at all. And then I have a cube here, so I come around a bit. Again, you can see that's got a texture on it, and uh, no depth at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate some normal maps and then we are going to apply them to their shape to try and create some kind of depth on them. So the way we're going to do that is open up our textures in Photoshop or a similar image editing program. So I'm going to start with my cube texture here. And um, the way to go about doing this is um, you've got to imagine that you're basically going from light to dark. So a white a white surface sorry, will be um, fully out and black will be very depressed and then you have all the gradients of grey between that. So when I look at this this picture here for example I'm going to set this up maybe so that the outside is black, it's, it's down and then might have a little bit up and you can see it tends to go, appears to go down as it goes in the middle and then the bit in the middle will be sticking out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new layer on the right hand side over there and to start with, what I'm going to do is just do the black around the outside. So the easiest way to do that is fill my new layer with black. So I'll just grab the uh, paint bucket tool. You can see I've got black. And just fill it with black. Okay, I'm just make that layer invisible for now. And I'll add a new layer for the next bit. Now I'm going to make that um, pure white so it looks like it's sticking out. So I'll just change my color to white over there on the left. And I'm just going to grab this rectangle tool here. It's on the shapes tool. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the fill pixels mode, which is at the top there. And all I'm going to do now on my new layer is click and drag out a white box. Done. And now I've done that, I can make that layer invisible. Now I'll just add another layer. And this one here, as you can see, it's slightly in, but not as in as the next layer. So I'm going to change my color from white to a reasonable amount of grey, something like that. And again on my new layer I've got the box tool, I'm just going to draw the box in, like so. And then again just for the purpose, purposes of this I'll just make that layer invisible and then create a new layer. Now this next square area is going to be even deeper so the colour needs to be even darker so I'll go very dark. and draw my box in there and finally I'll add one last layer for this bit in the middle which I want that to be sticking out so I'm actually going to make that a white square so there we go white so if I bring all my layers back now you can see there is my normal map so the black bits are going to be as it gets darker it gets further in and the white is going to be sticking out so we just go and, I'm going to go save for web, but you can go save as, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and in the same folder. So there's my cube texture, and I'm just going to call that cube texture um, NM for normal map. Alright, so there's my normal map. What I'll need to do now in Unity is import that. So here I am, and I would go uh, import new asset. Go find my cube texture mm. There it is. So here it is imported into my assets folder. Now, right now, it's not a normal map. We're going to use Unity's inbuilt um, ability to generate these. So I just select it. And over here on the right hand side in the inspector, you notice it says texture type texture. We're just going to change that to advanced. And you get a whole bunch more settings appear. Now where you can see where it says import type is default, we'll change that to normal map and check create from grayscale. These can all stay the same. Uh, and down the bottom there in format, I'm just going to change that from automatic compressed to automatic 16 bits. So now when I apply it, you'll notice it has changed into um, my little normal map. You can see it's gone to that purpley colour. So there's our normal map ready to go. If I now select my cube shape here in my hierarchy, 
Uh, you'll notice in the inspector, uh, my shader is diffuse. It just has the texture that we've applied. Now, um, what I'm going to do is change that shader from diffuse to bumped diffuse. And what that does is it now gives me not just a place to put the uh, actual texture, but also somewhere to put my normal map. So I can just click and drag my normal map onto that. And it's done. So now when we play our game, hopefully we should notice something slightly different about that cube. Let's get where we can actually see it. And you can see it's not great, it's been done very quickly, but there is certainly the appearance now of some depth in our texture. Okay. So that's a fairly simple one. Um, you may want to know how to do something more complex like a brick wall uh, or a, a wooden wall. And I'll just show you a, a quick way to do the, uh, the brick texture now. So returning to Photoshop, here's my brick texture image. And um, basically all the mortar is going to be um, in and we want the bricks out or something like that. We'll play around with it. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go and use the magic wand tool. So that's up there. It's one of the selection tools. And um, in Photoshop, when you get these tools, they often have uh, settings. So just double check across the top here that uh, contiguous is unchecked. So what that means is it will select uh, areas of similar color or pixels of similar color, uh, but they don't have to be touching the pixel that you're clicking on. So then what we're going to do is just take your cursor and click on the mortar somewhere. So I'm going to click in the middle of that one and you can see what it's done straight away is selected all the mortar. Uh, I'm just going to create a new layer and I want to fill this uh, with black. So I go edit, excuse me, fill and black in this case you can see is my background color so there it is there. Done. Now um, for this one here it's quite simple, I'm, I could now just go and try and select all the brick but it's actually a lot easier just to go to the select menu and um, just choose inverse and now that's selected all the brick and not the mortar. Uh, and so on a new layer I'm now going to go and fill that with the foreground colour which is white. So I just go edit, fill um, and that's going to be white, done. So what I'll do is I'll just deselect all that and you can see there is what will ultimately be our normal map. So I'm just going to go file, save for web and I'm just going to call that one brick texture nm. Okay. So once again we repeat the process in Unity. We go to our asset menu, choose import new asset, navigate through till we find brick texture nm, there it is, and that appears somewhere in here, where is it gone, right there, and we select it over in the inspector, change the texture type to advanced, the import type then to normal map, check create from grayscale, and finally just change the format to automatic 16 bits, and once we apply that we should get some form of normal map. So then to apply it, come to your object, the brick wall object, and you can see here uh, in the inspector I have my shader, it says diffuse, change it to bump to diffuse, and now you can just drag your new normal map onto there, and we should have some form of texture. Now this was done very quickly, but there you go, you can see we have the impression of the bricks protruding and the mortar um, receding, so suddenly we now have what appears to be a textured brick wall. So there you go, I hope that helped. Uh, that is how you apply normal maps to textures on objects in Unity.